Good morning. I'm joined here today by Ann Clark and June Kim, the two lead attorneys who were designated as special deputies to the Attorney General's office to announce the findings of their investigation into allegations of sexual harassment made against Governor Andrew Cuomo. A former aide to Governor Cuomo, who's now running for Manhattan Borough President, claims that he sexually harassed her. Lindsey Boylan made the accusations in a series of tweets saying in part that Governor Cuomo sexually harassed her for years. If I'm a nursing home operator, I say, don't say that person died in my nursing home. Ten minutes berating me, yelling at me, um, threatening me and my career, um, my livelihood. I'm sorry, I think we've got to just finish the interview. Well, the hits just keep coming for Governor Cuomo. Tonight, he is on the defensive against new sexual harassment accusations from a former aide. Now, she came forward last year, but now the alleged abuse got very specific. He stepped in front of me and kissed me on the lips. Cuomo allegedly said, let's play strip poker. 25-year-old Charlotte Bennett says Governor Cuomo asked her inappropriate questions about her sex life. The pile on continues. The New York Attorney General is now officially launching an inquiry into the allegations of inappropriate behavior. I want to address the recent allegations that have been made against me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for whatever pain I caused anyone. I never intended it. Uh, and I will be the better for this experience. When we don't hold our leaders accountable, we allow them to continue their abuse and impunity. The only way we can hold this governor accountable is to impeach him. Fortunately, what we're seeing here is a pattern of cover-up and a pattern of lies. It is unacceptable. The governor must resign. He can no longer do the job. If the investigation confirms the claims of the women, should he resign? Yes, I think he probably end up being prosecuted too. Governor Cuomo sexually harassed current and former state employees in violation of both federal and state laws. This investigation has revealed conduct that corrodes the very fabric and character of our state government. That I never touched anyone inappropriately or made inappropriate sexual advances. That is just not who I am. Let's take one thing at a time here. I think he should resign. 